So we've driven round and we've come through Bantry onto the next peninsula below the Ring of Barra and we're heading all the way to the end towards Sheep's Head um, where it should be really nice and quiet and apparently there's a lighthouse. Ooh, a lighthouse. lighthouse. And it looks like the sun is going to stay into the evening so we might even get a beautiful sunset tonight. And I can get some washing done. <laughs> get some washing done. So we're a few miles away from Sheep's Head at a place called Seafin Viewpoint, right on top in the middle of this peninsula. And you can see behind, that's where the Ring of Barrow was, where we were yesterday. And then if we turn around this way, behind us here, this is actually the next peninsula below us that goes all the way down to Mizzen Head which is um, a place that we're going to be visiting probably tomorrow. Whenever you go on holiday, you take all these beautiful photos and people just look at it and go, oh, that looks really lovely. Well, I have a fear that you'll look at these photos and videos and think, that's lovely. It truly is spectacular on every level. Mountain, sea, bushlands, highlands, fields, water, crashing cliffs. It's just absolutely amazing and the only thing I can say to you is come visit Ireland. We have just fallen in love with this incredibly dramatic and powerful landscape. Even when it rains it's just beautiful so don't be put off by the weather forecast. Come over, experience Ireland. We are blown away. We've arrived at Sheep's Head and it's probably called Sheep's Head for a reason because there's sheep right outside the van. Let's just show you the view from the van door. Here's the view and there is sheep right there. And they're quite chatty sheep. Bear. Very chatty sheep. Bear. Not now the camera. Oh, they're camera shy sheep. They're camera shy sheep. What a beautiful spot. Again, Ireland. Deep one. Deep one. Hey, sheep. Bear. There you go. Right next to the van. Sheep at Sheep's Head. So we're parked up at Sheep's Head and there are actually toilets here, but they're locked during the evening. And there's a little um, cafe here during the day. Um, it's closed at the moment, but if you fancy a cup of coffee when you come down here, 
then that's all grand. But look at the benches and the table. Look at that view. And they've got how many places can you have a cup of coffee in a cafe with views like this? So we're just leaving Trudy behind and we're wandering down to the lighthouse. It's about a two kilometre walk from the car park. There's a cow on the, there is a cow indeed on the road in front of us. How many places do you see cows walking down the road? because there's no way we could show you how amazing it is. Again, I say it because it is outstanding. You have to see these sheets, they're so cute. Chris and I decided that we were going to go for this 2K walk to come to the lighthouse and um, we're nearly there and I've got to be honest, it doesn't feel like a 2k hike because, or 2k, it's only one and a half miles, but it doesn't even feel like that because it's just been so breathtakingly beautiful. A smile for the camera. Be beautiful. The colour of the stone as well is just spectacular in the light. I'm very very scared of heights but I've decided to take one for the team and I've climbed down this little hill on the edge of the cliff area just to show you how magnificent the music is. Have a look at this. That's Mizzen Head over there which is where we're sleeping tomorrow. The light is on it, so it's looking even more spectacular than it is. Well, we're right at the end at Sheephead, and there is a lighthouse here, and it is beautiful. The weather's been kind to us again. I'm actually sat on the cliff because I'm hoping for a basking shark, a breaching basking shark. Fingers crossed, um, it happens. I watched something on YouTube the other day from an Irish scientist that said that April to September, all around the west coast of Ireland there would be or could be sightings. I'm hoping you're not lying to me because that would be the coolest thing. So Christopher, you're on your hands and knees. We're doing a little time lapse. I'm trying to get a bit of movement of the clouds behind the lighthouse. It's the creative side of me coming out. Are you having fun? It's great fun. Look at that, how can you not have fun?
Good morning at Sheep's Head. Good morning. I don't know, but every morning since we've left, I wake up and my hair's like, woohoo, all over the place. I think I'm turning into the wild woman of Borneo. Woohoo. So I did a bit of washing yesterday and uh, much to Chris's horror, um, I decided to hang the towel out side to dry. And he was convinced it was going to either blow away or get nicked. I was. And there she blows. Look She's how, still there. And she looks all dry and lovely. 